on scorpio gang 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 hope all is well with you guys to my returning og subscribers what's popping what's good to my newly subscribed hey y'all thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow i really really do appreciate that this is always a scorpio affair sun moon rising venus north node anywhere you have scorpio placements in your chart grab your boo your hookah your blunt your spliff I just heard green tea. Somebody detoxing. Okay. Somebody trying to eat right too. Somebody's eating clean. Keep going, Scorpio. Whatever it is that's liberating you right now, keep going with it. Cause I feel like I feel like energetically saying, God saying you're not on the offense team or the defense team. You hear you just straight power, streaming power. You're letting people know who they truly are. That's it. I ain't got to keep warm with people. I'm done with that. I'm too powerful for that. <laughs> yeah, I got another download, Scorpio. I can't, yeah. Oh, soon God, he already doing what he need to do for me. I don't have to fight battles. Hey, glory, I'm, I'm past that. I rank higher than that. Who am I talking to? I ain't on the offense or your defense, baby. What else here? I just seen something real weird go by my door, y'all. I've been seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities. All right. The first energy out is express your love, Scorpio. It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So if there's somebody in your 3D, Scorpio, that uh, you like, I, but I feel like I just did a video where you, you meet the love of your life and somebody who's who's been spiritually guided to you by God himself, I'm telling you. And this person, they totally don't want you to pursue them. They want to do the pursuing. They call it the thrill of the hunt. Could be a Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, I'm getting. Okay, but here I feel like this person is a total opposite. They want you to express their self because I feel like this person is not as, as aggressive as you are. But I feel like they don't mind you being aggressive, Scorpio. This person wants to know where you're at with them. And I feel like you need to express your love. Why? Because this is your soulmate. This person know they're supposed to be attached to you, but this person does not have the, they're an introvert. This could be an air sign. They don't really talk much. They kind of recluse this person. Like they love solitude. They love knowledge though, too. I feel like too, with this person, Scorpio, they understand the order of things like the order of spirituality. Like they realize that they're not spiritual. So they need somebody that is spiritual, if that makes sense. Moving forward. Opposites attract, but it's like, what are y'all going to do after that? That's what I'm hearing. Honeymoon? Okay. So after the opposites attract, Scorpio, you get married? Y'all just know y'all, you know. Y'all express y'all love. Y'all realize that y'all soulmates, so y'all run off and get married. I'm hearing a quick marriage. But not like Vegas or anything. Like, still like it would be like in the came. Is this person stable? And so are you, Scorpio. Y'all can create whatever life y'all want to create. That's what I'm hearing. Then you pull playfulness. Yeah. I feel like y'all work hard, but y'all play harder. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner useful spirit of fun to show. Yeah, I feel like this person brings out the creative side in you, Scorpio. I feel like this person inspires you in ways that nobody ever has. And I feel like it's a reason for that. Because nobody else should have had this level of inspiration on you. I feel like the people that we've been with that, have, that are not with us now, I feel like they were people who were putting our life to draw power. Not draw power to them, but draw our power out so that we notice who we are and that we, you know, we awaken. Who am I talking to? That's why I say I don't have any ill wills for my exes. Because whatever came from that is what needed to come from that. And whatever I got from, what, from that is what I needed to move forward in my life at that time. It was what needed to move me forward. I'm hearing one more here and we're going to get into the tarot. Okay, two always fall. Yeah, you have unrequited love. I feel like Scorpio, you know, even though we're coming in contact now with these, you know, better, I'm going to say better built energies, spiritual people. Um, I feel like 
it's people too that's in our energy that I feel like you need to let them know there's no hope. It's unrequited. Like just what I said, these people were meant, they were in your life to bring power out of you so you could see you. But what happened is these people experience your power, your majestic um hidden knowledge, your they were not able to tap into you completely. It feels like an unsung symphony to them. And in their mind, it, it, it means try again. But in your mind, you, you know it was just for growth, Scorpio. Who am I talking to? You have to let these people go. You have to forgive them because they were a part of the divine plan. And then we have romantic feelings here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Sorry about this, Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio, I feel like, you know, you just, you have to realize what it was and, and forgive these folks and move forward. Your overall energy is separation. It says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like this is, I feel like this separation is talking about spiritually with your ex here. Because I feel like we still go forward in a new relationship no matter how good it is. If you didn't release those fears, if you didn't, you know, find peace with that breakup or that situation, then you're going to carry it over no matter what you say, right? So Scorpio, just, you know, dig deep. That's what I'm hearing. Just dig deep. No matter how much it hurts, no matter how it feels, dig deep. Dig deep. Because I feel like when you're digging deep is when you're going to find the miracles or when the, the miracles are going to find you, I should say. All right, let's get into the tarot. I love you guys. Hit the like button, guys. Yeah, this person, they know they know who you are, Scorpio. I just feel like in the a, in a connection that you're going into, Scorpio, you're going to be on the defense. But source says no, don't do that. Because you're going to run somebody off. You're too powerful, Scorpio. See, that's why I always tell y'all we need a... We need a, a different kind of person to pair up with. They have to be, they have to have the capacity of an emperor. But they have to be open like a Pisces, if that makes sense. You know, Pisces are big dreamers. They see beyond the veil, it's just that they don't do the work. If they can make their dreams tangible, they'd be, you know well advanced here that's just what i'm getting so moving forward on express your love here what are the messages yeah i feel like when you separated with whoever this person is scorpio i feel like this person they i i, I feel like they they you choose chose someone else I don't feel like, and I feel, I don't feel like it was you. I feel like you literally chose somebody else. I feel like you chose somebody else for support. Reasons. And I feel like with this person, they feel like if they can get solid, if they can get, you know, like a solid job, hold down a job or get a house or something like that. This could be an ex-husband or something. They feel like if they ever can get that back together, no matter who you with. They'll be able to come back and like win you over or take the prize. But it's like, no, because whoever you meet now, they're your soulmate and they're not letting you go. They understand that this person was just temporary. Whether you got children for them or not, it's just the past. All right. Clarify. Um, express your love, Scorpio. Be open, Scorpio. I just, I feel like we're in a period where we're getting hit with the most shit when, when we're in a, in a period of, getting hit so bad that all you want to do is close up. But I feel like that's the trick of whoever. I just feel like open up even wider. Receive it all and transmute what you don't want. You have the Ten of Wands. Receive it all. Take it all on, Scorpio. Don't worry about what's going to happen. Don't worry about is this person going to break your heart. Because see, I feel like those fears and limitations is what's going to what's going to materialize yeah see the six of wands is your reality 
They want you to think the Ten of Wands is a burden. No, the Ten of Wands is, just means I want to invest. The Ten of Wands means I'm working hard on my dreams. The Ten of Wands mean I can sleep when I'm dead. The Ten of Wands is I only got one life. The Ten of Wands is I want to be paired up with somebody who's open-minded like me, who can meet me where I'm at. And when I'm, when I'm ascending and elevating, who am I talking to? The Six of Wands. Yeah, I want it all. What's wrong with that? They tell you you can't have it all. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm going to have it all. That's the mentality we need to push forward. Scorpio, isn't that the push forward we had last year, it don't work no more. That portal closed. This dimension that we're trying to get you to, it, it, you got to be, you can't fake the funk. You have got to actually have been through the Ten of Wands to get to the Six of Wands. Moving forward. The Nine of Cups, what did I just say? Faith without works is dead, people. Ain't no motherfucking manifesting no 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 laws of attraction. Think about what that say. Law of attraction. What is attraction? You want more money? Put more money in your bank account. Whatever that means. If it take you every time you get paid ten dollars, ten dollars to you got two hundred. It don't matter. This shit got to line up its levels to this shit. So Scorpio with the ten of wands, your first card, the most important. Express your love. I keep hearing, take control of your emotions. Be emotionally intelligent, Scorpio, from this point forward. And when I mean that, I mean you control your emotions. That's what I got to do. I'm, I'm on it. Even though we're going through all this, that's the message. Control your emotions, right? Be able to express, articulate yourself without being on the offense or the defense. Why? Because the battle already won. What the fuck are you fighting with somebody for? Why are you trying to prove your gift better than theirs? It ain't that. It's just that you feel like that person don't understand, Scorpio, so you keep trying to express yourself. And it's irritating them because they, they only have tunnel vision. Okay, Scorpio, let that shit go. That's that's peasantry shit. On Soulmate, you have the three of wands. Why? Because your ship's coming in. Not just your ship, your ships, all of them. That's what they mad about. You still selling and, you know, they still selling, Scorpio, and you moving forward. Why? Cause only because you made a choice. Because I keep hearing some of y'all, Scorpio, y'all too independent. You and, and trust me, I'm not blaming you. had to be a single parent. You had to do all this shit on your own. You had to leave somebody that was abusing you and your children seeing that. But what I'm hearing in a gentle is God is waking up a power in you, Scorpio, that can't be extinguished no more. They can't oppress you no more. They can't hold you down no more. They can't keep you barefoot and pregnant no more. Who am I talking to? They're not smarter than you. They just outsmarted you. Why? Because you wasn't in your power. Because they weren't drawing your power out. What did I just say? You gonna, Scorpio, you got to have somebody that when they draw your power out, they know what to do with it. That's why these people have not been able to last, but now they're here. The three of wands, all your ships coming in. The queen of air, absolutely. This is your independence. The queen, the queen of air talks about I'm educated. I can articulate my words. I'm realistic, though. Why? Because I've had the experience. This ain't what nobody told me. This is what I went through. When I say the 10 steps to happiness, this is my 10 steps to happiness. Who am I talking to? Some of y'all got five steps. Y'all just won't get on now still. Y'all keep blaming people. They came to pull the essence. You gave it to them though. Instead of you keeping it for yourself and being empowered, you poured it into them. That's why you wonder why they're over there with Susie and doing good. Nice, no, it's because they got your essence. Who am I talking to? The Ten of Pentacles on Soulmate, the Three of Five, the Queen of Air, and the Ten of Pentacles. See, what you've been missing all along in Scorpio, you've been looking for somebody to pour into you. You've been leaving that in somebody else's hands. 
Why? Because we told we we somebody you know a long time ago in the Bible said give it to God. It's almost like it's telling you 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 don't have to be responsible for you. Take erase that out your database. Give it to God. Give it to God. Give it to God. Erase that out. First of all, you can't give God anything. That's first off. The only thing you can do is offer up gratitude. These are things, see, these are things, these are involuntary muscles. Who am I talking to? You can't fake the funk with God. You can fake the funk with my token, but it don't it don't matter with me that you faking the funk. Whether you pull my power out and I give it to you this time. Are you pulling my power out and they activate me to, to go ahead and climb that ascension to that next round, to that next dimension? I'm going to learn from it. Even though you went up with my essence, I'm still going to know, oh, that was my essence. Now I can move from a different place. Who am I talking to? Moving forward, the Ten of Pentacles. That's what God invested in you. We looking for a Ten of Pentacles. You ain't got to look for shit. If you're the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles will come. Stop believing this bullshit. Like you can just rob a genie bottle and for real they're going to tell you what's your three wishes. Miracles and wishes ain't the same thing. Miracles is faith with words. Feel like I'm preaching. Honeymoon. Yeah, separation, your overall energy, separation from yourself. You not recognizing the power you gave away. The only thing you can recognize and perceive is the hurt in it. Why? Because you haven't healed. This is recognizable pain. This is familiar. This ain't new under the sun for you. You continue to count yourself out, Scorpio, and then you blame other people. They came to pull the power out of you. The test was when they pulled the power out, what do you do with it? Will you give God's gift away? Will you go bury it? Who am I talking to? Will you save it? Hide it? So nobody else will see it? Gifts are meant to be given away. Who am I talking to? You a gift, Scorpio. You. You are the gift. Okay, God, thank you. You still in the honeymoon phase. Okay. You still eating baby food. Okay. You still enjoying the bliss uh, 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 of knowing that you have a gift. You still right there. All this work you got to do, you still basking in something. Whether it be pain, whether it be that your soul may find it, you still, Scorpio, you don't have time to tarry. These are things that you should have already had. God said use your time wisely. Don't use time don't don't stay in a time where you shouldn't have been at you should have been at a long time ago. The honeymoon stage where you been over, Scorpio. Who am I talking to? On honeymoon, yeah, you got the night of earth. <laughs> this shit been here. The honeymoon had been gone. And here you come, slowly come around. You still hurt. You still crying. By Boo Boo, who hurt you? Boo Boo, what? Boo Boo wouldn't have hurt you if you wouldn't have gave him your essence when he pulled your power out. All Boo Boo did was show you who you really was. All Boo Boo did was show you that you really don't forgive people that hurt you. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to me. I'm looking right in this screen. I'm talking to me. Moving forward. The Queen of Cups in reverse. <laughs> yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. I, I I can't connect right now. 
only time a person can't connect is when they don't not feeling when they're not connected with themselves. Who am I talking to? It's a disconnect with self here going on still with somebody. Yeah, the eight of cups, you got to walk away from that energy. The honeymoon over, baby. It's time to go to work. When you when when people you got to understand that analogy, you court, you which courting means get to know each other. You engage. Engage means we get to know each other on a whole nother level and we let everybody else know that marriage is imminent with us because we found some type of connection. Now that connection we found, we got to figure out what this is. Who am I talking to? The engagement is a time when some people don't make it to marriage. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Because as you go deeper into this person, you start seeing other shit. You get more relaxed. They put a ring on it. Now, now I, I might show you a little bit of you, of me. Some people don't make it to the altar. Some people have to return the ring. Who returning the ring? Moving forward. The honeymoon over, Scorpio. On playfulness, you got the five of errors coming out in reverse. I, you know what I'm energetically getting? I'm, what I'm energetically getting is, is some Scorpios in my collective who, who just lighten up. It's almost like somebody told them, you can just, you can just lighten up. It's okay. I, I'm going to fight this battle. I'm going to fight all your battles. See, that, that's the download I got last night. I'm, a, don't, I'm a talking, you don't have to play offense or defense. All you need to do is quarterback. All you need to do is take the ball and make it down the field to the touchdown. Who am I talking to? I'm here to pull power. Out of you, not for me. I'm pulling my power out too. I'm here to pull the power out of you. Why? So you can see it. So you can feel it. So you can know it. So you know you ain't got to battle with nobody. The battle already won. I ain't got to put my mouth on no matter my warriors. They here. They ten toes down. They always have been. Moving forward, unrequited love. Let's talk about that one. Speak. See, it's all this unfinished business, but y'all don't y'all want the past to be the past. Okay. I can't even take all. I'm gonna put them all back. I just saw life experience. Nine of air in the reverse limitations. The five of swords in the reverse is somebody don't want to change their fucking mind anyway. That's clarifying your playfulness. Somebody want to stay in that honeymoon phase. When you get married, I mean, like I was saying, you court, meaning date, get to know each other. You go through all those phases. And then after the honeymoon over, we go back to our real life. That's what I call it. Everything up until after the honeymoon is fairy tale. Now, now we get to know each other. We, we It's dimensions, y'all. It's dimensions. It's frequencies. That's what you don't get. You got to be on that frequency to attract that frequency. You keep one 100% man, but you're on a 25% frequency. I'm going to help you all out. That was free. Clarify this five of error. Seven of swords. Whoever's still in the honeymoon phase. See, this is what I'm talking about. This 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 five of air in the reverse. The seven of air upright. And then look, unity. Number five, change. Somebody still, somebody not seeing the bigger picture here. Somebody was deceptive. Yeah, they came, Scorpio. Like I said, they came to pull the power out. They came to pull the essence out of you. They came to pull it and rob you for them. But see, it's not that they rob you because you gave it away. When you pour into somebody else, that's, that's your free will. You doing that on your own. Who am I talking to? Stop being mad at this person that you gave your essence and your power away. Power you didn't even know you had. See, that's why they feel like they deserve it. Why can't I see more into you than you can? That's why they was able to dupe you. I'm done with it. Unrequited love. I'm I cause I just can't cross watches in here. I just can't. We got to get we got to find a frequency, Scorpio, where it's okay to talk about this shit in secret. You got to get on my frequency. 
You got to pray. You got to talk to God to get on my frequency. Who am I talking to? This one to come out. Life experience. Remember I said it, I saw it. It went back in there. Go on, 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 on unrequited love. Archangel Shamiel. This is this is see the thing about this unrequited love. Who of this person? This was the love of your life. This who hurt you the most, Scorpio. Who you say was the love of your life? At that time, he was the love of your life. The life that you had going on then. The lower vibration of you. But even those people had a place. They had a job. They had to pull something out of you for you to know that that wasn't it. Who am I talking to? This is a significant life event. It don't seem like it is, but it is. You can't be mad at these people. This is a, this this person was a powerful revelation in your life. For some of y'all, this person left you homeless. I bet you'll never be homeless again. Who am I talking to? For some of these people, they 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 took you down to your lowest. For some of y'all, that's a crack pipe. For some of y'all, that's prostitution. For some of y'all, that's selling for somebody who you know don't meet your vibration. But if they just if they can't connect with you, they think they on point with you. Who am I talking to? We all need connection. It's the other shit we don't need. I'm going to move forward with the star on life experience and unrequited love. No matter whether it's unrequited, reconciled, what we need to start understanding with the star Archangel Jaffiel is that you being targeted. Why? Because you are a target. That's all you need to know. God said, if you if somebody told you you was a target, would you worry about the details? Or would you try not to be the target? That was free, Scorpio. You the star. <laughs> just, show, just you showing up is happy news, Scorpio. Who am I talking to? Who don't know their self-worth? Who don't know their power yet? Who blaming somebody else and holding so much forgive, unforgiveness in their heart that they can't see this person's purpose in their life? Yeah, it's unrequited, but it was needed to move me forward. Move forward. Scorpio, your, your shit optimistic right now. You on the right path. You on the right path. It's just that you got to keep this. When, when, you, when, they, when they pull it out you, when they pull that strength out of you, when they pull that essence out of you, when they pull that thing out of you that made you better, how can you not forgive this person? How can you not want to just give this person a bear hug and shake their hand and tell them, see, that's what's going on with the people you did this same shit to. What am I talking to? Thank you, source. This person gets to a place of forgiveness to the point they say, God damn, I just want to shake Scorpio hand and give him a hug. I wish I could get back in the bed with him. I wish I could get back in life with him. Because what they told me was the realest shit I ever heard in my life. And guess what else? It straightened the one thing Scorpio said. Straightened my whole entire life out. Just one thing. Scorpio, you got people saying, I wish I'd have got this wisdom when I was 20 years old. Romantic feelings of page one. Somebody excited about you, Scorpio. All of you. Not only do this person know how to bring out your power, but this person know how to how to how to how to how to pull it in a way that you recognize it. That you recognize that it's yours and not theirs. See, I think that's the problem. The fact that you don't know who you are, when you see in a, a certain amount of power. That's in a connection. You just automatically assume it got to be that person. No, that's your shit. But you also got to know that when this person steal your essence and your power, they can use it. Who am I talking to? The page of wands. 
This person, this this person, they make you feel outgoing again. What do I mean, outgoing? What does outgoing mean? It means now that I got my ingoing going, my outgoing looking better. Who am I talking to? Oh yeah, this person excited about you, Scorpio. Every time this person come, they bringing something. Some good news, some food, some money. Look, the earth of air. The eight of air. Earth of air. <laughs> and I'm still saying it wrong. The eight of earth. The eight of pentacles. This somebody who mastered you, Scorpio. The chariot. This somebody who come to move you forward. <laughs> this somebody come to feed you. The nine of earth. This somebody who wants you to be independent inside the connection, but they want to take care of you, Scorpio. They love your independence. They enjoy their life with you. That's what I love about this nine of pentacles. It's somebody who just, they love they love the, the, the little luxuries in you, Scorpio. They love the fact that you don't come glued, un, come unglued all the time. But when you do, they like it when you come unglued. You know how to come unglued now. This person has seen you mature into your own. This person has saw that they have empowered you. And motivated you. And the fact, that's what motivates them. The fact that they were able to do it. Scorpio, please. Don't let this connection go because it's packaged different. That's just what I'm hearing. The overall energy on the bottom of the deck, I can't make it up. The two of cups. I'm done. I love you, Scorpio. I truly do. And I'll see you in the next video.